So I don't know about you, but I'm actually pretty excited for the Direct tomorrow, right? Nintendo has a Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase happening tomorrow at 8 a.m. Central Time. And look, I understand that Partner Directs don't always get everyone excited. I mean, we can look back to the last one, which had some pretty big games like Near Replicant and others. But look... I, it's not about looking to the past. It's about the fact that obviously Nintendo's lineup is pretty sparse so far in 2024, at least what we know about moving forward. There's basically three games left that Nintendo previously announced for this year, and two of them don't even have release dates, and one of them's coming next month. So it's kind of interesting when I think some people are maybe maybe not like that excited for this, but I'm going to say, look, as somebody who plays no, games on all platforms and not just Nintendo games. I am very curious what Nintendo's partners are working on. And today we have actually gathered up a bunch of leaks for the Direct. And that is what I am calling this stuff because it is coming from The Bird. If you guys don't know who I'm talking about, it is Piero over on Twitter. He literally has a 100% track record, and this is what he does. He leaks information about game announcements. He, he hasn't been involved in all like the Switch 2 rumor mill and any of that stuff. He's actually literally just somebody that this is it. This is what he does, and he's the one who told us the director was going to be this week as well and was actually correct. So... Look, I'm just going to throw out there that we're calling these leaks. Technically, if you want to get mad, they're still rumors, but I'm not skeptical about these at all. So get mad at me if this stuff doesn't happen, I guess. But Pioro knows what he's doing. So let's get to his first one because he talked about Game Freak. And you can see this right here over on his Twitter account. He said, is Game Freak a partner? And then he says, well, yes, it is. And that's cool. Like, Game Freak's a partner. Uh, are we thinking Pokemon? What are, what are we thinking here? Well, Pioro tends to like things that get the uh, teases correct. So he teases in this way, and then people who guess the right titles tend to get uh, his attention. And that's where we get to go to a couple of posts here, because he liked this post by Negro Felipe saying, it would be fun, but Pocket Card Jockey from Apple Arcade coming to Switch, I would most like. But that wasn't the only uh, post like that he liked, because if you just like that one, maybe it's not enough evidence. So he went ahead and liked a second post here that says Pocket Card Jockey, Quinty says Metal Palace, whatever, the Panland trademark. So this is one where he liked a bunch of stuff, but it specifically mentions Pocket Card Jockey. Now, look, Pocket Card Jockey is a game that originally released all the way back in 2014 for iOS and Android, was actually taken offline in 2015, and then returned again in 2016, and then an HD version of it actually launched in the last couple of years over on Apple Arcade. That's the only place you can play the HD version. So it does seem likely that Pocket Card Jockey is the game coming over that seems to be exactly what he teased but because he did also like a tweet that mentioned this other game i want to bring it up pandland pandland is that action adventure game that game freak teamed up with another company all we have is this beautiful piece of art that uh, you know the, look this was not announced that long ago so it's a fairly recent thing we haven't seen anything about it maybe that game is here i still think it's probably just pocket card jockey but We'll throw it out there just because, hey, he did end up liking Mondo Mega's tweet that included this game in it. All right. So what else does Pioro have cooking? Well, quite a bit, actually, because he made this tweet about, well, Nintendo themselves. Because you know what? No one says you're a partner with Nintendo than just being Nintendo. Uh, so he put out this tweet that says, is Nintendo a partner? I voted yes. I had no idea what he was talking about, but I figured he must be asking this question because the answer is yes. And he says, sometimes Nintendo can be a partner because they love dolphins. And he posts this dolphin thing here. This is actually uh, real life dolphins. Uh, this is actually some really cool uh, glowing footage of real life dolphins out in nature. But anyways, sometimes Nintendo can be a partner because they love dolphins. And people started speculating, is this GameCube? What is this? Uh, are we talking about you know other specific games out there? Things going to NSO? Well... Pioro uh, kind of had this leaked by somebody else. There was a Chinese leaker that went ahead and said, this is Endless Ocean. And you can see this here from a My Nintendo news post here that says, Chinese leaker says Pioro's dolphin tweet is Endless Ocean on Switch. This person responds, I somewhat doubt it. The guy posted Endless Ocean on the tweet. And typically, if they are right, Pioro likes it. He's not wrong. And then Pioro just said, that leaker is reliable. So Pioro is backing what that leaker says and saying that he actually thinks that leaker is a reliable leaker. So there you go, Pioro 
kind of basically confirming it's going to be Endless Ocean, which, look, Endless Ocean is a very, very fun franchise. Uh, it's made by a studio known as Akira, but Nintendo published it, so Nintendo owns it. They actually, fun fact about this company in Akira, as you're seeing some Endless Ocean footage here, they technically had another series that Endless Ocean was a spiritual, spiritual successor to in Everblue that they made exclusively for PlayStation back in the day. I think on PlayStation 2. So they've actually been making these sort of oceanic games for quite some time. And you know what? We don't know if this is going to be a new one, if this is going to be an old one, like, the, you know, if it's going to be the first or second one, Endless Ocean 1 or 2, or a collection, both, or is it just brand new? Again, there's no specific deals given this way, just something Endless Ocean, and that is obviously pretty exciting indeed. Now, there are some other things as well that I find to be really exciting. This is maybe, to me, one of the games I'm really looking forward to the most from third-party partners, and that is Penny's Big Breakaway. That's because this, this guy said, uh, does it have Penny's Big Breakaway release date for it, maybe? And Pioro just simply goes, yes, if you don't know, Penny's Big Breakaway is an upcoming 3D platformer that looks utterly fantastic and really, to me, harkens back to the days of the Nintendo 64 3D platformer. Honestly, I couldn't be asking for much more when it comes to just exciting things, uh, when it comes to just what I'm interested in. So I'm really happy that he teased it. Now, another game that he appears to have teased, uh, this one's quite interesting, is Shimigami Tensei 5. Vengeance. Obviously, we know Shin Megami Tensei 5 is on Nintendo Switch. And yes, it does look like that he teased it because that's exactly what this GIF is from is Shin Megami Tensei 5 Vengeance. It's a game that's not out yet. It says, Is this guy a partner? And Pioro says, Obviously, yes. Now, the interesting thing about that is we don't have to just go off Pioro for this one because as of yesterday, Shin Megami Tensei 5 Vengeance has been rated in Korea. Supposedly a complete edition of the RPG. So there you go. Uh, it has been leaked already just via ratings board. So we already know that Pioro is telling the truth, highly likely telling the truth that this game is going to appear in that partner direct. So credit to him for that. Now, if you're wondering about some other games he might be teasing, these are going to be might might be leaks because he didn't say anything, but he did like these tweets and didn't respond directly. He liked a tweet that said Unicorn Overlord demo in the showcase. He just liked this tweet from Hallow. You can go check yourself. We'll link to his likes. Uh, that's very fascinating to me. Unicorn Overlord is that game, that HD2D RPG style game that just looked really amazing in a prior director. It just had this really funky name. What the hell is Unicorn Overlord? And then we learned a bit more about it and understand the importance of the unicorn stuff. And honestly, it's really fantastic looking. And I, I you know what, this is actually on my to buy list. And the last little tease he put out there, and I think I know what this game is, but we don't know 100% for sure, of course. Uh, he liked a tweet from Joseph Joestar that simply said, Level 5. Now, what I find fascinating about that is a lot of us will know Level 5 from Professor Layton. And there is a brand new Professor Layton game that's supposed to come out in 2025. Would not be shocked to see this here. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's one more tweet we have to look at. So if we go over here, we'll see that the person posted this fake leak that came from 4chan. And on there, you'll note a particular game in a moment. Because as we scroll down, he says it's fake. And this guy says no Contra. And he says, it will get a demo. Pioro says Contra will get a demo. Now, the Contra that's put on here is Contra Operation Galuger. I can't really pronounce that, but that apparently is the game that he's referencing. And look, that to me is very, very fascinating. And honestly, if we get a demo of this game, that just gives us something to play. Maybe it'd be a shadow drop demo even. They tend to do that in directs, give us shadow drop demos, let alone shadow drop releases. I wouldn't be surprised if some game in this direct ends up getting shadow drop. Look, that is just a big summary of all of Pioro's leaked stuff for this direct. If he leaks anything else, I don't really know. We probably won't make a second video on it, but we will cover it in the pre-show tomorrow if it happens. Uh, by the way, we are going to be live streaming at 7.15 a.m. Central Time. The direct will be happening 45 minutes after that. Now, beyond that, of course, we are going to also have a live stream tonight at 8 p.m. Central where I'm going to go ahead and give you some of my personal predictions yeah, you know, I, I have a few percolating right now. I was planning to tease them, but you know what? I think it took us long enough to get through the Pioro leaks. I'm going to save all of my predictions for tonight. So show up if you want to enjoy those predictions. And uh, let's go ahead and get this shindig rolling. Nintendo Direct tomorrow. Hell yeah.